Good morning, David Sable. First morning of vacation, so we're a little bit casual today. I'm going to talk a little bit about politics and entrepreneurship today, which seems like an odd coupling. What's politics? It's the solving of problems collectively. What's entrepreneurship? It's the solving of problems through an organization. I've long thought that entrepreneurship should be taught in every undergraduate program it should be taught in school. Now, I'm, under not, I'm not under the delusion that Columbia University is going to stick my course in the core curriculum anytime soon. But there's been a lot of talk, rightfully so, about problems that exist in the world, and a lot of people that are very active. Entrepreneurship, companies, that type of thing can seem somewhat trivial. I think it's just the opposite. If there's ever been a time when you want to develop the skills to identify a problem, identify the people who that problem affects, come up with solutions, and put those solutions into effect, it's now. People talk about activism. People both talk about being involved. Well, you want to be able to be involved, but you want to be involved effectively. Entrepreneurship allows you to do that. I have a daughter who's very much a humanities person. Uh, not out to save the world one little step at a time. She wants to do the big picture stuff, which I think is great. But the skills that we teach Putting together little biotech companies are the same skills that are going to allow her and her colleagues and anybody else to go out and solve the problems of the world. So before you reflexively say to someone who's involved in the business world, oh, stick to business, keep out of politics, uh, think about how we're going to really take your opinions, put them into work, and take ideas and make them into real tangible benefits. We're on vacation. Try to do these things from somewhere in Europe over the next couple of weeks. See you in September.